it's back. The YouTube skill is flipping well back, and I am so excited by this fact. Uh, the YouTube skill is something that was developed well over two years ago, and I did a video that got half a million hits. Um, the problem is, it broke. And it broke quite severely, and it was broke for like a year. I was like, someone will fix that soon. Someone will fix that. And nobody fixed it at all. Uh, and then came along a young man called Andrew, and he developed a skill for my channel, the Hibbert Home Tech skill. And I said, hey, Andrew, you reckon you can fix that? And he went, yeah, fixed it. Like literally half an hour later, I've done it. Okay. Ask YouTube to play videos by Green Day. Listen. Stop. Play, stop, previous song, next song, shuffle, all of that stuff works. You can tell her to shuffle videos by Green Day and she will shuffle videos by Green Day. Uh, you can obviously pick other things if Green Day is not your thing. Um, everything works and it is amazing. Uh, Andrew is currently working on trying to get it so it will show video on the Echo Show. So by the time you watch this video, it might already be working because that boy works fast. Uh, if that's the case, it's in the description. And in fact, thinking about it, maybe it's in the video title. Because if that's the case, I would definitely be writing it there. This skill is entirely free. You will not pay a penny to anybody. What I will tell you though is about quarter of the way through, you'll have to sign up to Amazon's AWS platform because you are becoming a developer temporarily and they will ask you for your credit card. Don't leave. I can see you going, no, I'm not giving my credit card to anybody. It's Amazon, get a grip. So the reason they ask for your credit card is the same as when you go to a hotel and they ask for a credit card so that if you use the minibar, they can charge you. You're not going to use the minibar. The whole point is that you are going to only use this skill for yourself, but if you were to publish this skill and then have a million people using it, Amazon would want paying. Uh, they're not going to charge you a penny, I promise. The second thing is, this video moves fast. Make sure you are ready with that pause button. Uh, it's probably easier to do this with a separate device next to you so you can follow the instructions on that device and actually do the things on the other device. Um, that's it. Somebody in the comments section has already gone, video starts at 2 minutes 45 because they don't want to listen to me blathering on. That's fine, that's fine. My ego isn't hurt at all. Without further ado, here is me showing you something I don't understand at all. I have no idea how any of this stuff works, so full praise to the original developer Fenton Fenton and to Andrew for resurrecting the skill. Enjoy. Step one, all you've got to do is visit this address, console.developers.google.com forward slash project. See, I told you this was going to be easy. Once you're in here, all you've got to do is click Create Project. I've got stuff in here already, you won't have. That's because I've done stuff already. Now you need to give your project a name. You can call it whatever you want, but get rid of that. Uh, you want to call it something like YouTube. I'm going to call it that with a capital Y and a capital T. I suggest you do the same. I don't know if it matters, but probably a good idea to be on the safe side. If you then click on Create, it will create a project called whatever you called it. In our case, YouTube. If you then click on Google APIs at the top here, that is a link. Doesn't look like one, but it is. Click on Enable APIs and Services and search for YouTube Data API version 3. That's the one that you want. You can then press Enable on that. Guess what? It'll enable it. Click Create Credentials at the top right. And under which API are you using, you need to choose YouTube Data API version 3. And under where will you be calling the API from, you need to choose Web Server Example Node.js Tomcat. Put a dot in the Public Data Radio button, and then click the blue button that says what credentials do I need. Congratulations, you have an API key. Uh, you need to copy that to your clipboard using the little button here, and then if you open up a notepad file, you can add that API key to your notepad. You need to save that because you're going to need it later on. You are done! Congratulations! You have created a door to YouTube for she that should not be named to walk through, and that is a rubbish analogy that I will continue to use. 
Step two, you just need to open up a new browser and visit aws.amazon.com. Here it's going to ask you to complete sign up. If you have not signed up for AWS already, you will need to sign up for AWS. Uh, this will ask you for a credit card at some point. Don't worry, you're giving it to Amazon. Look, Amazon. The amount of people that screech at me that they don't want to give their credit cards to these people is Amazon. They probably already got your credit card. All you're doing is becoming a developer, temporarily. Uh, so I already have an account, so I'm going to go to the AWS Management Console and sign in. Before you do anything else, you need to make sure that this is set to a locale that works with she that should not be named. Uh, the two that I know definitely work are EU Island or North Virginia, so I'd recommend you pick whichever one you are closest to. Apparently the others that work are US West Oregon and Asia Pacific Tokyo, uh, but I only know for definite that those two work because I've used them before. Click Services and then click Lambda. Uh, you won't have a history because you've not been here before. If you search for Lambda in here, it'll come up. Again, you'll have an empty screen. I've got something here because I've used this before. Next then, click on Create Function and then Author from Scratch needs to be dotted. And you need to scroll down to Function Name and set your function name to YouTube. Again, if I have capitalized something, you should capitalize something. Uh, y and T are in capital letters, just to be on the safe side. In runtime, you need to select Python 2.7, so scroll down a little bit to this section here and choose 2.7. It might work with the later version of Python, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend trying. Open up, choose or create an execution role, so it expands so you can select another thing in here, and the thing you need to select is... Already selected! Create a new role with basic Lambda permissions. If something else is selected, then select that and then click on create function. And then make a cup of tea, because it takes a while. So next thing we need to do is select she that should not be named as a trigger. So if you go here to add trigger, and then select your trigger as the she that should not be named skills kit, then select the disable radio button. It'll tell you that it's best practice to do something else, but we're super rebellious, so we're going to totally ignore that. Uh, don't do anything that this says, make sure the radio button is dotted in Disable and press Add. Congratulations, you have created a Lambda function. Go you! Step 3. Visit this address here. It is in the description for this video. Or in the pinned comment. One or the other or both. Uh, if you go to that address, this is where Andrew's files are, and we're going to download Andrew's stuff. Uh, so all you got to do is press the download button here, and you should get a zip file, uh, which won't have a 1 in it. That's because I've downloaded it before. Um, if you go show in folder, you'll be able to see that file, and we're going to need it shortly. Let's go back to your uh, Lambda page, the one that we've got open already, and press the YouTube button here at the top. You'll see some down arrows because it's telling you I have expanded this stuff. And this stuff is where we're going to upload Andrew's code. So the first thing you need to do is go to this drop down and go to upload a zip file because we're going to upload Andrew's file. If you then press the upload button and then browse to where Andrew's zip file is, it's now ready to upload Andrew's Lambda function. Before we do though, you need to just scroll down a little bit further and set the memory here to 512 and the timeout to 10 seconds. Scroll back up until you can see environment variables. In this section here, we're going to add a couple of keys. And this is how we're going to authenticate through the door. So these are literally the keys to the YouTube door. This is a rubbish analogy. Utterly rubbish. I hope it makes sense. So the first key in capital letters is developer underscore key. And the value is your Google API key, which is that one that we saved earlier on to our notepad. Just copy that, paste it in there. Make sure you paste yours in. If you paste mine in, everything will go horribly wrong. Don't do that. The second key, all in lowercase letters, is YouTube underscore DL. And the value is true. If you then press the save button at the top, it will upload Andrew's zip file and save those environment variables. If you now scroll to the very top of the screen, you need to copy this ARN to your clipboard because you're going to need it shortly. 
If you copy that to your clipboard and then paste it in here below your previous entry, uh, now you've got both of the things you need to be able to complete this task. That is step three complete. We have put the code in the bucket. Another terrible analogy. Step four, you need to visit this address, developer.amazon.com forward slash Alexa forward slash console forward slash ask. Here you will need to sign up if you have not signed up already or sign in if you are already signed up. Make sure you use your she that should not be named email address. If you don't, then it won't all link up properly, I don't think. I could be wrong, but make sure you do anyway, just to be on the safe side. Click on create skill, little blue button here and enter your skill name as U space tube. I almost forgot to tell you, this is the invocation name. So if you put in here, my mum, you'll be able to say, ask my mum to play videos by Green Day. That would be pretty weird. But this is an important point, because if you actually use the words YouTube in here, and you use it on the Echo Show, the Echo Show will just load up a browser with YouTube in it, because that's what it thinks you mean. Uh, so if you're using this on the Echo Show, you'll want to call it something other than YouTube. See you in a bit. <laughs> Again, probably stick in capital letters like I have, just to be on the safe side. Make sure custom is selected out of these options here and that provision your own is selected out of these options here. The default language I don't think matters because apparently, according to Andrew, it should default to your language anyway. I'm going to select English UK because that's where I live. I'd suggest you select whatever is appropriate to you and click on create skill. Of these options, select start from scratch and press choose. Go down to the interfaces tab here and open it up and select these three options. You need audio player, display interface, and video app. Auto delegation will automatically be ticked. If it is not, then make sure you tick it. And then press save interfaces. In the interaction model tab, if you scroll down to JSON editor and open that one up, we can then alter this code in here. So the first thing you want to do is get rid of all this code. So if you use Control A to select everything and then press the delete key on your keyboard so it's completely wiped out, we now need to put in Andrew's code. We're going to steal it from him because we don't know what we're doing and can't make it up ourselves. Andrew's code is at the following address. All you've got to do is visit the link in my description and you'll get this. You need all of this code. So if you highlight it all, Control A, Control C to copy it to your clipboard and then go back to your Alexa developer console and paste it in to line one. That's it, it should all go red, and that is the uh, full code pasted in to that box. Scroll to the top and click save model, wait for a moment, and then press build model, and wait for a moment. That will then tell you it started to build the model and we'll need to wait for that to complete before we can finish. Uh, this says quick build in process. Make another cup of tea. You'll be full of tea before this is over. Quick build is successful, you can now test sample utterances, blah blah blah. Scroll down so you can find the end point tab, which is this one here, and then scroll back to the top, because Amazon have made this page weird. <laughs> In here you need to select AWS Lambda ARN, and this is where we link the skill to the code that we uploaded a moment ago. So if you then go back into here and highlight your Lambda code, uh, address and put that into your default region box there. Leave all of the boxes blank and press save endpoints at the top here. Skill manifest saved successfully. The final thing we need to do is go to the test tab up here and change this little option here where it says test is disabled for the skill to development. This enables the skill on your Amazon Echo device and that is it, we can now use the skill. Congratulations, we have made a skill. And by we, I mean Andrew, because he's really clever, and I am not. Ah, uh, that's it, you're done. If you want to say thank you for everything you've just done and learnt, uh, there are links in the description to my PayPal and to Andrew's PayPal. We'd both really appreciate the support. Speaking of which, these guys are my patrons, and you can come and be one of these guys if you want to. Um, I really, really appreciate their support, and I would appreciate your support just as much. You can do that at either Patreon, or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will love you forever. Uh, you can come and hang out with me at all the Facebooks and the Twitters and the Instagrams and the social medias, um, and I will see you there. Goodbye. There are links in the description, description, uh, the links in the description. <laughs>
Uh, links to Andrew's stuff in the description. Go subscribe to him and use his gear. <laughs> what does that mean? Everything you do on this skill is free. I should start out by saying that. Start again. Halfway through this process, a lot sooner than that, and I didn't even say process right. Process.